Welcome to my channel. It is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear shaped shorty style guru, but also, of course, your natural hair shorty too. And I wanted to share a video with you guys about my hair. It's been a long time since I've shared one, probably, oh no. Has it been? How long has it been, Jordan? It's been a while. It's been a long time. Should have left you. It's been two months since I have cut my hair, did the big chop, and I realized that I have not shared with you guys my updated hair care routine, what things have changed, what products I'm loving now. So I really wanted to share that with you, give you some tips on how to style your pixie cut and how to make sure that you have healthy hydrated curls. Before we get into it though, don't only hit that like button, but subscribe too. You do not want to miss a video from your girl sharing all things chic, including style, beauty, and home decor with new videos twice a week. If you haven't watched my video on why I chopped my hair, go ahead and check that out just to give a little bit of background because I really used to have like crazy long hair. I mean like it was even longer than how you saw it in the video when I chopped my hair off. But since then I've really been loving the shorter cut. I really just wanted to share with you what I'm using and what I'm loving. And as always, there will be links to everything in the description below. So if there's a product that you're wanting to try out, I got you boo. Let's get into my pixie haircut routine. One of the first major changes to my routine is my shampoo, so I've switched from the Argan Magic Shampoo to the Mazzani Scalp Care, and that's because I have a really flaky scalp, it gets really dry, and in winter it just flakes so easily. I have found that this has been really, really helpful to keep the flakes at bay. They don't appear as soon, and honestly, my scalp just feels like it's getting the biggest breath of fresh air. Plus, I like to pair using this shampoo with one of those scalp scrubbers. I got a very generic one, but I find that it really helps to get all that debris off, all that flaking off, and give my scalp a fresh start. As for conditioner, I've been using Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Luscious Moisturizing Conditioner. I always reach for hydrating conditioners, especially because I live somewhere dry and I just know that my hair is low porosity and it needs the extra moisture wherever I can give it. After I've worked in the conditioner, I just take a wide tooth comb and go ahead and quickly detangle. I love how fast I can detangle my hair now, guys. It's like such a game changer. Once I've rinsed out the conditioner, I just go ahead and wrap my hair in an old t-shirt and change. Before we get into the rest of the video, I really want to know when did you get your hair pixie cut? Like, what inspired you to do it and when did you do it and how long have you had it in the shorter hairstyle? Let me know in the comments below. In my last routine, you saw me using the pattern leave-in conditioner. I thought that was okay, but I've switched to the Alafia Beautiful Curls. My friend really recommended this. She says she loves this for her daughter, so I decided to give it a try for myself. And I gotta say, one, it smells amazing, but two, I really feel like it hydrates my hair. Then I just work in the leave-in conditioner and detangle with this brush. Next, I use a blend of the Miel scalp oil and some grapeseed oil. I find that this blend really helps to not only moisturize my scalp, it has antiviral properties, which helps to fight the fungus that usually kind of causes dandruff. Plus, I really can kind of feel my scalp pores like opening up. It's really, really crazy. But I think that this really helps to give me a healthier scalp as well as keep my flakiness at bay. Lastly, I use Wet n Wavy Frizz Free Mousse. This really just helps to give my hair more texture as well as to keep the frizz down. And I find that it helps my wash and goes last a lot longer.
Once I have all of my products worked in, I then section my hair, putting the longer hair in top just with this like alligator clip. And then I take my comb again to really comb in that mousse because I want my curls to be as frizz free as possible as I start to finger coil. I finger coil starting with the back of my hair and the shorter hairs and then work my way up. A bonus tip is to go ahead and make sure that you comb through your hairs before you finger coil them. That helps to reduce the frizz and give way more definition, shine, and bounciness. Once I have the back and one side done, I go in and part my hair to make sure it's nice and clean. These days I've been parting the hair on the left side. Not entirely sure why, but it's just my favorite way to do it. Then I go in and finger coil that side of my head. And once all the short hair is curled, I will then go ahead and finish off the top section with the longer hairs. Depending on what my day looks like, I might just let it air dry, but I have found that if I take a couple of extra minutes to diffuse my hair, it really helps my scalp to remain flake free longer. And that is it. I will say it's about the same amount of time that I probably spent when my hair was longer because the finger coiling does take a little bit longer than like my old routine. Honestly, if you go watch it, here it is. Like I would just let it air dry or put it in a bun and just go. So I really wouldn't worry about giving myself like the definition that I do now. But other than that, I'm really, I mean, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. And I hope that this was really helpful for you. You found a new brand you might want to try or you just found the technique very, very useful. Because Queen, I really want to just introduce some ease and some luxury into your life. And I really hope that I'm helping to inspire you because girl, you are amazing. You are beautiful and you deserve everything that you want. And I just hope that I'm giving you the tools to get there. With that, do not forget to not only hit that like button, but subscribe and follow along with your girl. If you haven't already, check me out on the other social media channels. I share on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest, and of course, on Like to Know It, I have a bunch of in-app exclusives, so make sure you follow me on each platform. Thank you again so, so much for watching all the way through, and I will see you next time. Bye.